you can sink your teeth into this whether you like the international break or not live both games are here on TalkSport the first thing to say the big news today regarding England and I'm really sad about this actually is Bakayu Saka leaving the England squad today as a precaution Harry Kane by the way reportedly could be out of the game with an ankle injury now that gives Gareth Southgate a real opportunity to take a look at some other combinations when it comes to his attack albeit I really wanted us to see us full strength to see what we would be like against some of the best teams in the world albeit Brazil haven't been great of late yeah but I, I think that's exactly what Gareth would have wanted and there'd be a lot of Arsenal fans out there would be quite happy especially with Bayern Munich coming up <laughs> but I, I genuinely think that even if everybody was fit there's no way he'd have experimented here we know he's a pretty pragmatic manager and and, and do you know what we're at this stage now where we haven't had a, an international get together since November we're only just a, a couple of games away or a handful of games away from the actual start of the Euros. He needs to take it seriously. He needs to nail down his 11. And as much as we know what Harry Kane can do, we still need to almost redevelop that relationship again that he's got with other players, you know, in, in the England side rather than the Bayern Munich side. So I'll be disappointed if he doesn't play. I am disappointed that Bakaya Saka won't be playing. Mm. That's, for again, from an England fan's point of view because I would have loved to have seen as co up uh, you know our best eleven against Brazil, yeah. and really go for it and and put them to the swords and get the, build that confidence yeah. and momentum. And I remember saying this to you uh, about you know that kind of aura about teams. Brazil have had it in the past. Germany have had it. France kind of have it now as well. If we sort of win well against Brazil and also against Belgium, that really does lead us to again one our belief but to the aura that no one wants to face England. Yeah, OK, all right. We're going to talk about how Gareth Southgate could possibly experiment with his front line. I want your views on it. Give us a call, 03717 And in particular, would you start either Ivan Tony of Brentford or Aston Villa's, Aston Villa's Ollie Watkins? Both of them have been in, in decent form of late. Watkins probably having the best season of his career so far. So imagine Harry Kane wasn't going to the tournament who should be starting for England. So we'll come to that in more detail uh, in a few minutes' time. Um, elsewhere today for us to discuss, Joe Gomez saying that he he doesn't care that he was booed the last time he played for England, which is kind of sad anyway to think that anyone would be booed. Do you know booed. what? I forgot that he was booed. Yeah. It seems that long ago now. Montenegro, November 2019. Booed by a section of the Wembley crowd when he was introduced as a substitute but that was after remember Raheem Sterling a reported altercation with Raheem Sterling had mm. become public knowledge so it wasn't just we hate Joe Gomez it was a little bit of, of politics going on in the press as well yeah and maybe a bit of um, club politics yeah. with the fans as, uh, as well and I think listen that, that feels a long long time ago now and there's a real opportunity for Joe Gomez I think he's done really well mm. for, for his club you know playing very much out of position but, but looks comfortable at left back, you have to say. Of course, I've got to mention Charlton in there as well, started there. And I think, you know, everybody should be very proud of him and what he's done. Now, can he sort of, if, is he going to play? I think he's got a great opportunity to play with all the injuries. And if he does, listen, if everyone's fit, he's not going to start in the Euros, but he could be one of those that comes on with injuries and does a job and then that may not start the tournament, but can finish it. So it's a massive opportunity for him. Big opportunity for him with other players missing as well. You'd have to imagine that Ben White, had he wanted to be included for England, the Arsenal defender, he would have had a great opportunity to be playing in these games. His form's been absolutely fantastic. Sam Wallace reporting in The Telegraph that Ben White and Steve Holland did have a falling out. Maybe they didn't exactly come to blows, but he, he reported that maybe there was a, a little bit of disrespect shown by Steve Holland to Ben White when he questioned his interest in football. Southgate's assistant reportedly asked Carl Walker of Manchester City a question relating to their form in the previous season. He answered it. He then asked Ben White the same question. He didn't have the answer and there seems to be a comment that went in from Steve Holland towards Ben White that he felt was disrespectful. I know you probably heard me earlier in the week talking to Danny Mills about this. He was very, very strong. Do you sit Similarly, alongside him? Yeah, I, I sit with him. I, I'm not as strong uh, with Danny as that, but I, I, I'm absolutely in agreement with him. Look, I'm, I'm a great believer in everyone can, should do what they want to do. And if you don't want to pray for England, that's fine. I actually personally would prefer Gareth to come out. And listen, it's not down to Gareth to say what happened. He knows what happened. People know what happened. And apparently he was in front of players. But if Ben White now wants to sort of throw his toys out of the pram and, and say, well, I don't want to play for England again while... Well, Steve Holland and, and Gareth Southgate are around, then so be it. What I would then want Gareth to say is, I've asked him, he said no, we're so close to the Euros, I can't even think of him now. I can't even think of him 
this side of the Euros. You know, that kind of, again, is a bit wishy-washy from Gareth saying, oh, well, you know, hopefully he'll change his mind and if he does, then we'll... No, 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 no. Again, you don't want to play for your country? That's absolutely fine. That's up to you. I do think he's he's different and I think I think it's good to be different. I think it's great for different people. Again, we talk about this sort of multicultural yeah. diversity of mind. He is different. Maybe Steve Holland would sort of, if he had his time again, maybe not ask that question. Maybe he asked a question with a certain tone. Maybe Ben White answered in a certain tone. We still don't really yeah, know. Yeah. But the bottom line is, this is nothing, Hugh. Mm. And it's, Ben doesn't want to play for England. And if he doesn't want to do that, then I'm sorry, that's it. You're done this side of the year. Ever refused to play? No. No? No. Big fallout with a coach? I've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.